Okay, we're going to take the patch tool and I'm going to move it to here. Now that's a good start. Now I don't like this area here. Move that down to here. Oh well, let's have a look. That's much better. That's much better. Maybe a little off here and down here. Good. Now let's take a control alt Z control Z again. We need to just take that whole selection here. Like so. And let's move it to here. Control D. Yes, that's much better. It's just a little patch right here. Which we need to clean up. And a tiny little patch right here that we need to clean up. That's it. No, that's not it. There we go. Good. Control D gets rid of it. Okay. Let's have a look at that all together now. Oops. Put it on the screen. There we have. Now as you can see, it, we've lost the bags under our eyes. It's, it does need blending a little bit. Now what I will use is a plug-in filter by Imaginomics called Portraiture. Here's the work screen. Three different views. You can look at a full window up and down or split free preview side by side which is the one I'm going to use but I'll show you all three of them. I'm going to use this one, center it. Now the next thing you do is you pick your mask. Very easy to do. By picking the mask if you click anywhere on the skin generally I would do it in the center of the forehead but she's got too much hair so pick a piece of skin which picks the skin that you want to change. Now we'll go over to the controls. Let's set it and default. As you can see, already with the skin mask there is a slight blending of the skins, which actually for Amy is probably quite adequate because you don't want to lose your skin texture. But we'll have a look at it. So if you looked at it in the worst possible case, as you can see the skin is now much much smoother but almost plasticine. Do you agree? So I'm going to go back to default. And there we have it. A little bit of blending but no real see just a little bit of blending here as opposed to what was here before so it really looks good now I could go in later and pixel by pixel take those out I'd only do that with an exhibition print now the sharpness the sharpness levels down here we pull that up a little bit and actually I'm going to do quite a lot and it's sharpened up the eyes it doesn't sharpen the the mask what it does is it sharpens up the eyes and things outside of the mask um, I'm going to warm it up just a fraction just by one and 
I'm not going to change the tint because I think the skin colour is about right. Um, let's go out a bit so we can see the whole thing, or at least the whole face. There we go. Um, we could change the brightness if we wanted to of the skin. I'm taking it to an extreme, obviously. Um, there you go. I don't think it needs it, so I'm going to leave it on zero. But we might want to change the contrast a little bit. I think, again, you can change it. Let's change it by 20 so you can see the whole thing. But where I think it needs to go is probably minus two. That works for me, and perhaps I will increase by just one on the brightness level. And that gives me exactly what I want. Let's look at the full picture. Yes, so there we have it. I think we have our edit of Amy. Okay, so there we have an edited picture of Amy, new background, skin blended. And let's hope you enjoyed it.